podcast, here's something really cool I needed while just mocking around with a new camera. So here's my uh, Pioneer uh, Kudo 5080 Plasma TV. And we're filming it in low brightness with just a normal video light. And as you can see, there's nothing really exciting going on about it. It's just a big black TV. However, if we swap from camera light to infrared night vision, we, we gain x-ray vision. Look at that. We can see right through a black plastic frame. <laughs> Isn't that <laughs> amazing? I mean, you can even see, read the inscriptions on the back. We can see right through it, straight into the inside of the TV. And the same is true for my LG TV up here. There's also a glossy black TV. But if we bring the infrared light up to it, I can see right through it. Right? It's detecting a phase there. The LG phase Lego is a phase. Oh, yeah! <laughs> TV X ray vision. I had no idea that the entire thing would be translucent to IR, but I suppose it makes sense because it's just one big sheet of plastic and you are bringing the IR receiver through it. So is that the IR receiver there? No, that's the power LED thing. I actually, I'm actually not sure where the actual IR receiver is on this. I keep having issues where I just randomly point the remote access and it never works. Maybe we can find out this way. It's about the IR receiver. That kind of does look like an IR receiver to me. And a weird white sheet. Is it the IR receiver though? Ah, oh, it's hard to make out of a viewfinder. Yeah, it almost has to be. It since we just have a power LED on the other side and that one's taped over. I could just have a dual since it's such a high-end TV. Hmm. You can clearly see how my black tape isn't IR translucent though. Let's just fire this thing up and see how plasma TV looks in IR because they put out a lot of uh, infrared light when we fire up. Alright, that's not too exciting. Not anywhere near as exciting as the X-ray vision. Ah, there you go. Just wanted to share that. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.